This is Hannibal here from TheHannibalTV.com and here we have a clash of two former WWE superstars, two-time WWE Tag Team Champion, former New Japan IWGP Tag Team Champion, Davey Boy Smith Jr. from the Hart Family against Nunzio, aka Little Guido, WWE ECW legend. Two-time WWE Cruiserweight Champion, two-time ECW Tag Team Champion, former partner of Tracy Smothers and the FBI, who I, I was pretty good friends with Tracy. He, he did lo one of my longest shoot interviews ever. I'm really sad that Tracy passed away a few years ago. So we're seeing some technical wrestling, drop to hold attempt by Nunzio, reversed, and we're seeing some amateur wrestling. Now front face lock by Nunzio reversed by Davy Boy Smith Jr., who in my opinion is the best technical wrestler in the world today. By far, he is trained with Josh Barnett. He is trained with Billy Robinson, also former Great North Wrestling heavyweight champion. Defeated Nathan Banner for that title in 2019. And Nunzio is getting out of the ring. He's been out-wrestled here by Davey Boy Smith Jr., son of the legendary WWE Hall of Famer Davey Boy Smith, one of my favorites growing up. And, of course, Davey Boy Smith's most famous match ever was at Wembley Stadium against Harry's uncle, Bret Hart. And, of course, AEW is returning to the new Wembley Stadium in August, so... It'd be nice. I've heard rumors that Davey Boy Smith Jr. might be invited to that show. So I, I hope that turns out to be true. He has all the tools to be a top star in the business. He's had some political issues, I know, on the Japanese wrestling side. I'm not sure what the issue is with WWE, as Natalia, his cousin, works for WWE, and TJ Wilson, his good friend, works for him. Who knows? I, it boggles my mind why they have people like Sami Zayn and, and Kevin Owens as Canada's representative getting big matches in WWE and Davey Boy Smith Jr. is kicking butt on the independence as we can see but to me he's in the prime of his career maybe we'll see him in MMA maybe it's his choice maybe he wants to, to step into Bellator or perhaps now that WWE is Merging with UFC, we could see David Boy Smith Jr. in UFC. He's certainly showing he is more technically skilled than Nunzio, who is known as the shooter. Mind you, Nunzio is probably at least 15 to 17 years older than David Boy Smith Jr. and has a size difference as we see a camel clutch now on Nunzio. Nunzio is in trouble. Now, anyone that's wanted to know what it's like to be stretched during a match can use this match as an example. Nunzio is getting stretched in this match by David Boy Smith Jr., who has an arm bar locked down on, on now. Arm drag. Of course, I did train with David Boy Smith Jr. in the dungeon, as well as Natalia. And uh, I have wrestled him numerous times, particularly some of my, my first few matches. And I'm not ashamed to say he is more technical than me. He's, he's been bred for wrestling. Snapmare now and ju just cranking on Nunzio. I have to admit, I'm impressed that Nunzio has not given up yet. The ECW wrestlers are known for their toughness and tenacity. Nunzio has not given up, and he, he's taken a pounding here. David Boy Smith Jr. driving the head into the back of the neck of Nunzio and just putting all the pressure on the top of that bicep muscle, pulling it back and twisting those wrists. But Nunzio, Nunzio is a tough guy. He's hanging in there trying to work his way out of this move. By the way, the next Great North Wrestling match is November the 4th in Renfrew, Ontario, in the Ottawa Valley. As Nunzio breaks the hold. 
course, we have not been to the Ottawa Valley since pre-pandemic. It's a long history of Great North Wrestling there. We are extremely happy to be coming back November 4th. More event information at thehannibaltv.com. Davy Boy Smith Jr. has wrestled in Smith Falls before. He won his last match here. As, as Nunzio goes to the ice, Nunzio just rakes the ice. And he's finally getting a bit of an upper hand, but he stopped very quickly. <laughs> and he eats a big headbutt there from David Boy Smith Jr. I don't like where Nunzio's head is right now. Speaking of head. Big body slam by Davy Boy Smith Jr. Setting him up for, I believe, his famous leg drop. Nunzio drop kicks Davy Boy Smith Jr. right in the nose. Pinfall attempt here, not enough. You're gonna need more than that. Now he's flipping off the ref with those Italian insults. I don't know if that's gonna win you any points with the referee. Nunzio is at the disadvantage in this match. From what I understand from Jack Kilby, Davy Boy Smith Jr. was originally offered the match against Jeremy Prophet for the Canadian title on this event, but Prophet did not want to wrestle. Davy Boy Smith Jr. This was kind of a last minute change because Nunzio was supposed to have a different match as well. Jr. breaking the count as, as Nunzio, I think, just bashed Jr. over the head with a pop can or something. Now Jr.'s outside the ring. It could be a count out here. Nunzio might get the upset. But he's actually pulling Davey in the ring. If I was Nunzio, I would have tried to keep him out of the ring. And now he's, he's choking Davey Boy Smith Jr., who's crawling back into the ring now. I would have gone for the count out if I was Nunzio, but Nunzio he is going to try and get the pin. He wants the victory. I don't know when the last time Nunzio wrestled in Canada was. It's been a while. And he wants to show the Canadian fans he can still go. Davy Boy Smith Jr. making his way out of this headlock pretty easily. Are we going to see a suplex? What are the famous British Bulldog suplex? No. Nope. Nunzio blocking it. Goes for an arm bar. I don't know if he has enough power. No. Nope. Davy Boy Smith Jr. reverses the arm bar. Turns it into a sidewalk slam. Reminds me of the big boss man. Another one of the legendary wrestlers that passed away far too early. Had a great theme music too. Nunzio now giving a piggyback ride or doing a piggyback to Davy Boy Smith Jr. He's got that rear naked choke in or a sleeper hold perhaps. It's hard to tell from this vantage point, but, but Davy Boy Smith Jr. appears to be suffering right now. Now he's got him up. This is where we're seeing the size difference as we see the Canadian flag and the British Bulldogs tights. Of course, David Boy Smith Jr. did officially inherit his dad's nickname of the British Bulldog. Nunzio now on the second rope. Jr. pulls out his leg. He goes flying. That has got to hurt. The whiplash from that. Nunzio is probably going to be feeling for weeks to come. Kick to the midsection. I think we might see 10 punches here. Davy Boy Smith Jr. wants to lay in some punishment to Nunzio. Nunzio is in trouble. Now it looks like we might see one of the famous British Bulldog suplexes. Yes, indeed. And I think it's only elementary at this point. Double arm suplex. Nunzio, I, I gotta tell you, he's tough. One thing I've learned from this match, and I've not seen a lot of Nunzio matches in my life, is that this guy is tough. He's taken a lot of punishment. We're almost 10 minutes in now as he's taking some lifters, some European uppercuts now, from Davy Boy Smith Jr. And I have felt those, and those are tough. Nunzio reverses it into a pinfall attempt, backslide, pinfall attempt, but Davy Boy Smith Jr. kicks out. Nunzio goes for a roll up. One, two, almost a three. Oh, no, not quite, not quite. Very close. Kick to the midsection now. 
Nunzio is trying to go for another pinfall attempt. Russian leg sweep now. Reminiscent of his uncle, Ross Hart, who was known for being a great Russian leg sweeper. Now it looks like we're going to see a power slam here. His father made famous running power slam, Davy Boy Smith Jr. There, there's no getting up from that. Two, three, former Great North Wrestling champion is going to be a force to be reckoned with here in GNW. Davy Boy Smith Jr., victorious. Thank you for watching the Hannibal TV. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and click the subscribe button to not miss any of our latest shoot interviews, match videos, or